大家好，我是奥地利的小屋。上一次我们 talk cheese， 今天我们 talk meat。我的擅长中文这么不好，所以你们知道了。I will switch to English for this really nice explanation. We have today ten different kinds of European cold cuts. I will talk through where they are from, and afterwards I will of course try them and. Give you guys a small explanation of how they taste. So if you travel to Europe, you will not miss out on these beautiful delicatesses. We start with one of the most common sausages on our plate. I have four different kinds, and that's a salami. You probably saw this already a lot because it's mostly used on pizza. I have salamis from Italy, two different Spanish one, and also a Hungarian salami. Let's just start with the Hungarian salami. All of them, in generally, they are mostly pork and beef mixed, or only pork. Sometimes they could even use some donkey meat or horse meat. That's what they used to do. But nowadays it's mostly pork. Just be sure to check the label to know exactly what's inside. This specific salami was in a skin with mold on top of it. The skin was not real skin though, so I like to peel it off and eat it without the skin. Hmm. Really tasty. Not too salty. You can taste it's quite fatty, but you don't taste any mold flavor of the skin at all. It's just a really nice. Meaty sausage flavor. The next one is also a salami. This is a salame de Milano, so it's specially from the region of Milan. This is from an artificial skin as well. I bought this already sliced. You can see it has a little bit bigger pieces of fat inside. I will just give it a try. Hmm, really nice. It's a bit more chewy, and as you see, the bigger pieces. They kind of really stick together. It's not really minced. It has a little bit of smoky, peppery feeling. They put some pepper inside. Saltiness is about the same as the Hungarian salami. If you eat it, you can eat it just like this, but you kind of feel that you want to have a little bit bread or something with it. In Europe, typically, we will eat this maybe for breakfast with some bread, or maybe just in the evening as a snack with a glass of wine. The next one is a Spanish salami. This one is, you can see already, much smaller. This one has been air dried, as all the other salamis as well, from a raw piece of meat, not one piece, but basically pieces of meat mixed together and minced. This one was cured in a real animal guts, so the skin you can just eat it. It also was cured with some mold on top of it, which I just leave it on top. Hmm. It's very nice. Much less salty than the other two salamis, and this really, really slight mold flavor gives a whole other dimension to this salami. Here we have a really nice Spanish sausage. This sausage you will find it everywhere in Spain. It's called a chorizo. It's really special because inside they actually put lots of pepper and also garlic. Which normally results in really nice flavor. You can see I already get all this red oil on my fingers. So, mm. really, really good. Mm. It has a very special flavor. Not really spicy, but you can really feel this paprika, pepper, and garlic flavor inside, which makes it totally unique in flavor to these other salamis. Not too salty. You can perfectly eat it just like this. Don't need a bread. Maybe have a drink with it, or like an olive, and tastes really good. Since we are already talking about it, let's just talk quickly about the olive. In Europe, Mediterranean countries really love them. Green olives and black olives are basically the same fruit. The green one has not yet started ripening, and the black one is already fully ripened. There's all kind of colors in between that you can find on the market to eat. Generally, olives, when they are just raw from the tree, are very bitter. Then we use a certain way to brine and ferment it. Each olive, each country has different ways to do that to make them nice and eatable. 
Afterwards, they are kept sometimes in salt water and sometimes in oil. So it depends on the way of making it and also the way how they are stored. What is the exact flavor afterwards? They are still a little bit bitter. This one is quite salty. Mm. It has a small tomato inside. Sometimes they have almonds or different nuts inside. Sometimes they come with core or without core. The black one has a little bit this nearly like kind of a smoky flavor. It's not really as strong and stingy as the green one. It could be because the fermentation and the fruit is just fully ripened. The flavor is like a little bit drawn from the fruit. Mm. Both really nice. Another raw and air dried sausage is this one. This is a coppa sausage. It comes from Italy. It is very special because they use only the pork neck to make this sausage. They put the meat into the guts of an animal, then they salt it and they air dry it just raw like this. So you can see it's a full piece of meat all together. It has not been minced. Mm. Mm -hmm. It has a really nice, a little bit like a, a ham flavor, not too salty. And because it's not minced, you have all these different like textures in your mouth with this small strings of fat and the pieces of meat. Not any specific flavor like smoky or something, just really nice and pure meat flavor. Then I will refresh my mouth a little bit mm. with some bread. Mm. Because all these sausages are quite salty. In Europe we like to eat it together with bread. German people have an own word, die Brotzeit. Austrian people say Jause. Also in the south of Europe, people just like to eat it in the afternoon for a snack together with bread, like cold cuts of bread, some sour things, or they just even eat it for a whole meal for lunch or dinner. Of course, basically it's just a kind of a sandwich. We have the bread and we put like a piece of meat on top, like an open sandwich. Maybe we like to add some pickle to this and just like that, is for me a perfect breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, a snack in between for European people. It doesn't matter. Anytime you like it. You just saw me eating this delicious pickle. This is just a slice of the pickle. This is the pickle as a whole. European people really love pickles. They're kind of like sweet and sour flavor. It just suits with this saltiness and the fat of the sausages because the little bit sour flavor will kind of balance this fatty saltiness out. Our last raw sausage or meat, Italian Parma ham, something that Italian people are very, very proud of. There is also very good ham in Spain. This is the kind of meat that you normally see. You can buy the whole leg and people just will use a really thin, long knife to slice really thin, nice slices of the leg. There's the fat inside, the meat, it's just the whole piece. There's nothing minced. This ham has been raw and then salted and air dried. I will just take a small piece of it. Spanish ham, Italian ham have very different flavors. Spanish ham often is from the Iberico pork, a really nice pork. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's just so good. It's um, just melting in your mouth. It's such a soft and like an elegant and smooth flavor. It's not at all like the salami. The salami is more like a punch in your face. And this one is just like this really smooth melting piece of meat in your mouth. I just can't understand why prosciutto has made it everywhere in the world as a delicatessen. Mm. It's just too good. Mm. Next in our round of cold cuts is this pork belly. This is an Austrian pork belly piece of meat. You can see here is the fat. This is a little bit chewy. This you just take it off. This one is cooked. It has been first cured in salt and then it has been cooked in water with garlic on top of it to give it like a really nice special flavor. It's just a full piece of meat. After cooking, it gets dried to keep it longer. Mm. Mm. Really nice. The taste of home 
It has a much less salty flavor than these ones and this really nice garlic flavor in the back. And of course, you just get the full piece of fat, which is super tasty. Mm. Here, we have a really nice cooked ham. You can see this is like a really a whole piece again of the leg, the fat, everything. This is also cured in salt first and then cooked. It's really kind of a soft, meatish consistency. It's not like this kind of dried sausages. This is really dry and also tough when you eat it. This, mm. Mm, very tasty. Much less salty than the dried meats. This kind of cooked ham, European people in Germany and in Austria, they really love it to just have a small Brotzeit in between the day or they just put this kind of uh, ham in a bread and with some butter, some pickles, some mustard maybe. It's a perfect small sandwich for lunch or for dinner, for breakfast, anytime when you just want to eat something really quick and tasty and have like a piece of meat inside, really tasty. Mm. Here we have another cooked sausage. This is also an Italian sausage, very iconic for Italy, a mortadella. This is a pork sausage. The meat has been very finely minced and pressed into a skin with small pieces of fat remaining. That's very iconic, this kind of look. They also spice it up often with black pepper. You see small dots of black pepper here. In the skin, they cook it in kind of like heat ovens, same like the other one. This is very soft and much more juicy also when you touch it already, not like the dried sausages. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's just such a special flavor somehow. Maybe it's just because of the cooking process, like a kind of a touch of smoky flavor, even though it's not smoked, and the small fat pockets. They just give it a really nice sensation when you eat it. You have this nice pork meat and then all of a sudden you hit this fat pork and it's just tasty. Mm. Really nice for sandwiches or anything just to eat like that. Mm. Last but not least, we have a very special sausage here. This is called a liver sausage, eine Leberwurst. Especially in Austria and in Germany, we really love this kind of sausage. This used to be made from only leftover after slaughtering the pork and a certain part of it, sometimes it's 30, 40, 50% is really from the liver. Nowadays you can also have it from young beef, chicken, but normally it's pork. There also is quite a big piece of uh, belly fat inside, so it's really nice and spreadable, but also a little bit fat. Mm. <laughs> really tasty, totally different than anything else here. Obviously, you can see already from the style of the sausage. It has also been cooked in the skin. It has a slight liver flavor. It's not at all that salty. It just also, same like all these others, fits very well with a pickle on top because it's so fatty. The pickle kind of balance this with the sourness. Mm an all-time German favorite. The specific Leberwurst that I have here is from the young cow. Then I'm also gonna tell you some other small snacks that we like to eat in Europe together with cold cuts. One is here a sun-dried tomato in Italy. They really love it. They have a special kind of tomato. When it becomes really ripe, they just purely sun-dry this, they don't do anything else with the tomato, then they keep it in oil. It becomes this kind of like a shrinkish uh, tomato, which has really strong tomato flavor. Mm. It's also a little bit like sour, sweet, a bit salty, fits very well with all the cold cuts. Another small pickled thing we have here is my small pearl onion here. I personally really love it especially in the north of Europe. Also Germany, people love this kind of pickled onions. You just snack it like this. Mm. It's quite a sour flavor, sour and sweet together. Not really strong onion flavor. The pickle draw all of that flavor out, but just a really nice addition to all these cold cuts. 
Last but not least, I also have some capers here. You saw me using capers already in my beef tartare video. They are very essential to a good and classic beef tartare. European people don't eat capers very often just like that, but they fit very well with a beef tartare or also a tuna salad or maybe you make a tuna spread with some mayonnaise, you put some capers inside. It's a really nice combination. If you eat them like this, mm, they are a little bit salty, often quite salty. Capers is nothing else than the small flower head of a plant that has been then pickled in like salt water. I tell you, I bought nearly all of these things on Taobao besides of this Austrian uh, bacon that I brought myself from Austria, plus this Hungarian salami. These two things, I brought it from Europe. All the rest of the things you can find on Taobao, you can buy it directly to your home. But if you bought it, just watch out how you preserve it. Always keep them in the fridge. All the sausages, all the sour things, the olives, Try to just take them out whenever you need them, a small portion for your sandwich, for your pizza, for whatever you need them for, and keep the rest in the fridge. The dried cure sausages, like this kind of meat, even though it has been cured when it was raw, don't think that now it is still raw and you need to cook it. It's, in terms of bacteria, very safe to just eat like this. If you keep it in the fridge, you can keep it for at least two, three, four weeks. And this kind of cooked meat, like the ham or maybe the mortadella, if you open the package, just use it within a few days and there will be no problem as long as it's in the fridge. That was it today with our really nice European cold cut specialities. I hope you really liked it. I hope that I already made you very interested to try some of these nice sausages and cold cuts. Of course, if there's any question, there's something you didn't understand, please just ask in the Tanmu or in the comments below. Also in China, they make a huge variety of different kind of sausage. So if you think there's anything out there that I should try, just let me know and I will definitely give it a shot. 谢谢你看我的视频，是你让我想要努力拍更好的视频和说中文。点赞、分享和 please 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 please关注我，你的关注才能让我继续拍摄。Love you guys.